Here I come, world. Here I come. This week on NBA Jam, Kevin Garnett is in the house and he'll be coming right at you in NBA shorts. We'll also shine the spotlight on a shooting star, the Pacers' Reggie Miller. Miller a bomb for three, got it! Plus, Steve Nash and Antonio McDice will show us the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix. Like this week is one of the NBA's premier sharpshooters. He's the Indiana Pacers all-star guard, Reggie Miller. Growing up as kids, you've always played that game by yourself, outside in the back. You've always counted down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and you know, you might be down by one or down by two, and you might step back from the three and take the shot and make it and celebrate. And, I think when you visualize that way, it kind of helps a little bit when you put yourself in that situation now in the NBA. Here's Reggie, here's the turnaround, here's the shot. Yeah! Five seconds, four seconds, three. Here he comes, fade away. Yes, Miller, it's a big one. Reggie Miller takes the bounds at the stadium in Chicago. During his 11-year career, Reggie Miller has made his mark as one of the NBA's best three-point shooters. And he has an uncanny ability to deliver when the game is on the line. I love the ball plus time situation because anything can possibly happen. Reggie! Oh, what a play by Miller! Three-pointer usually makes the other coach kind of cringe. I mean, it definitely takes the life out of a team, especially if you're coming back or you're trying to make a big-time crunch play. Miller for three, and he got it. Reggie Miller with a clutch tray, and it's 105-102. And a steal. Miller retreats to the three-point line and hits again. Tie game. I guess this is what they call the calm before the storm. <laughs> Energetic and flamboyant, Reggie is a true showman, and his unique style has made him a big hit both on and off the court. And we got a great show tonight. Guess who's here? Basketball star Reggie Miller is with us tonight. Please welcome author and talk show host Reggie Miller. A popular guest on television, Reggie also hosts his own TV talk show in Indiana. Man, it is so nice to hear all you guys laughing. Look at your body. You think you could play a little football? Football? You can get hurt playing football. Well, <laughs> oh, we like to keep it very light and entertaining. We want people to come in and have a good time. And the show is fantastic. I love doing it. This summer, Miller took another step in his broadcasting career as he became a commentator on telecasts of the WNBA. Last week, it's heating up, Reg. Yes, it is. I can feel it in my bones. Pettis. And she can feel it in her jump shot. And he uses his performing talent to send a message to kids through the NBA's public service announcements. I'm the cool cat who read all that, every book, front to back. You know, sometimes I like just stopping at certain schools and walking in, giving surprise visits and so forth. How you guys doing? What you guys in here doing, pasting? I love kids in every city I go to. You know, kids really is what I play for. That's what every person should play for, is the kids. Woo, woo, woo! Pick and roll, rotate over, 25! Hey, Atlanta, hot! Well, anytime I step on the floor, I'm going to play hard. I'm going to do whatever it takes for my team to win. You got time. Jackson, he got it in the air. Reggie Tiffin! Yeah. Oh, what a play by Reggie Miller! This season, Miller will once again be counted on to lead his team as the Pacers try to get back to the playoffs. I'm in the attitude right now that for us to succeed, everyone's going to have to be on the same page. And when it comes time to playing, it's business time. It's all about business. The Atlanta Hawks have soared to the best start in team history, and their guard Steve Smith tips off this week's edition of Total NBA. 
Our first stop is Atlanta, where the hoops were in place both on the court and on the screen. For Steve Smith, the Hawk star spent the day playing some games with a group of local kids. I think you come out here and interact with the kids to get a chance to uh, play a little hoops and just uh, be a part of the little community and to get kids to come out and you know, uh, participate in this fight man. I love being able to you know, deal with kids. And I think it's a situation for kids to even get a chance to see if they can come out and beat me. I did, I did all right. I hit two of them in uh, 25 seconds. I was under a lot of pressure, I guess, trying to shoot in front of him, but it was definitely fun. Next, we take a ride to Charlotte, where the Hornets gave a big lift to the community. They took part in the Home Team Program, which renovates houses and builds new homes for neighborhood families. I mean, it's always important to help uh, people have homes. I mean, that's the American dream, to own a home. So, you know, if you're able to help a family uh, get into a house, uh, you know, I think you can do yourself a good job by helping others. Well, you know, it's, it's good to come out anytime you can uh, see a kid smile, have some fun, and that's have fun, too. Uh, plus, you know, help uh, a family with a new home, it, it makes a lot of sense. And things like this, you know, really pull the team together. And to help raise money for the program, the Hornets became race car drivers. A little cramps. I wanted a four-door. Where we comes in the, right the no-door. I've got a uh, high turbine, cool, uh, 100 pressure, 800 horsepower, dual overhead camshaft, clutch capacitor, all bearing. I'm working on it this morning. She's trying to get it. Listen to that. Oh, her. Her, baby. Now let's drive to the Motor City, Detroit, where Grant Hill gets us started on our NBA Plays of the Week. Grant Hill fouled at midcourt by Anderson. It up and, in. and here's a beauty by the Kings Corliss Williamson. 360, that was sweet. Check out this high-flying act from the Clippers' Brent Barry. And a right-hand stop. Gorgeous full length of the court move by Brent Barry. The Lakers made a long-distance connection. Nick Van Exel to the Shaq. Live under the Shaq. That's it for Total NBA, but stay tuned, we'll keep on jamming right after this. It's time to roll this week's NBA shorts, featuring the spectacular young forward of the Minnesota Timberwolves, Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett, take one. So Timberwolves, and I play small forward. Two on one, Garnett. Oh, my goodness. Showtime. Oh! From Farragut Academy, 6'11", Kevin Garnett. Anytime you can be yourself and enjoy what you're doing, I think that's a great plus. Kevin Garnett smiles a lot and just has fun, like he's supposed to. I'm very outgoing, so I'm in a great lifestyle, and... I try to live it like that, and I think the best way to express that is when I smile. <laughs> Looking inside, Robinson. Oh, darn it! Where did he come from? Oh, my goodness. Kevin Garnett, take two. Come on. on the basketball court, you know, I'm going to give him my all. Kevin Garnett uh, brings a lot of energy, uh, plays hard every night. I know what I can do once I get comfortable, once I... Once I get confidence, um, just being out there, being in the NBA jersey, it's like just a pleasure for me. So I just love being in the game playing. I think we're starting to gel. Oh, what a pass and what a jam! Everybody's on the same page, so to speak. Uh, we're understanding one another. We're winning and we're competing at a high level, and it's coming out great. I think the most important thing is we're having fun. I think that's the most important thing. I think we're playing together more. Uh, everybody's understanding one another. You know, anything's possible at this point. Oh, seven, have mercy! Have mercy! Dribbles with the left hand. He's atop the circle, working on Irvin Johnson. Baseline pass. Garnett is there! Drives and chest! In dynamite with a scintillating tomahawk! For the game, Barber into the big ticket and the slam! One day I would love to be in a championship game and maybe win a championship ring or a couple of rings. Uh, that's definitely my goal. That's something that I really want to experience for myself, and not just for myself, but for the city of Minnesota and the Minnesota Timberwolves organization. So I'll be the 
The Monsters highlight of my whole career. While Dikembe Mutombo is helping the Hawks win games, he also helps his homeland each summer. And we went on the scene as Dikembe returned to South Africa. Is it something I always have said to myself that uh, I want to give something back? To the place I came from, and I always felt that the weekend keep coming every year, every year, every year to give the young generation a, a hope for the future. The first stop on the tour was Cape Town, South Africa's oldest city. Dikembe and Mawadi Mabika of the WNBA's LA Sparks took a ride in the countryside. I want to see the this beauty of this the mountain that surrounding the city of Cape Town. You don't find it in so many places. NBA games are shown in South Africa, and when the players toured a flea market, they soon found that the Chicago Bulls had made a big impact. Nice, Michael Jordan. Uh, That's Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. How you doing? Chris Whitney of the Washington Wizards took in some South African culture and also decided to get some hands-on experience. After taking in the country's sights and sounds, the players went to work. They conducted clinics in four South African cities, where kids got a chance to learn the game from some of the best. Okay, let's go. It's a turnaround jump shot. It's everybody. Come over here jump. to teach the kids, and uh, when you when you're out there and you see a big smile on the face, it definitely gives you a big thrill. So I've had a great time. There's no way to describe the, um, what I feel when I see how, how we put a smile on some of these kids' faces and giving them hope in basketball in the future. I think it's also great for development of basketball because um, lots of people like basketball in South Africa, but we can't play. For them to come over here and show us the stuff, this is really nice. South Africa, love, peace, peace out. I just want to tell you and that I'm so proud that uh, Patrick, I'm going to take your name off next year when I come back. They don't have to care with Tom Brown. South Africa sports has played a very crucial role. It's brought people together, it's brought unity. So if we can develop basketball in South Africa, which is so loved by the young people of this country, it's a dream come true. My name is Dikembe Mutombo, Polonda Mukama Dikembe Mutombo. That's what we're trying to teach to our young guys that, that anybody can make it. You're the only one who can stop yourself. We'll be back in a moment with more of NBA Jam. Now, let's head to Phoenix, Arizona, where we join the Suns' Steve Nash and Antonio McDice for our NBA Tour. What's up, everybody? I'm Steve Nash of the Phoenix Suns. Nice play by Steve Nash. Oh, yes. And this is my man, Antonio McDice, the new man in town. Slammed in by Antonio McDice. We're going to show everyone around Phoenix today. Come on, let's go. All right. Now you know Antonio, Phoenix is in the Valley of the Sun. This is the sixth largest city in the country, and there's a lot to do here. Golfing, hiking, shopping. But a trip to Phoenix really isn't complete unless you stop at America West Arena. Let's go inside. Well, Dice, this is our locker room. As you can see, it's a brand new state of the art. Everything is plush, and uh, this is where we hang out. I noticed you've already made a mess of your locker. Look. What's that? There's the mess. We need to get it made for your locker. Uh, let's go over to Steve Locker. I got locker the look. Right oh, now. you want to see my locker? Nah, uh, this Steve Locker. Look at his uh, midget bathrobe. <laughs> <laughs> look like a shirt on me compared to my eyes. Okay, Dice. This is the weight room. This is somewhere you need to get more acquainted with. Obviously, you can see by the physique. I've been in it. here a lot Don't of times. You see, Dice? This is the kind of ways I live. What? Oh, what? What? Yeah. Come on, baby. I already lifted today. Come on. Come on. And these are kind of weight. You really no, don't lie, don't <laughs> lie. All right, Dice, this is our team shop. This is where you can get all your jerseys. They got Jason Kidd, Kevin Johnson. They got your jersey up there. Excuse me, where's the Nash jerseys? Uh, it's 
They're already sold out of the Nash jerseys. Your sales will pick up as you know people start to recognize you around town. All right, guys, this is the Arizona Center. You can do a little shopping. And there's a lot of great restaurants in here you can come to after the games or just on your spare time. And we're going to go in and try to find a great southwestern cuisine place. They got some great Mexican food in here. Come on. There's one right in here, I think. So you know any Spanish? <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Chimichanga, platter, polo, masada. Taco salad. I thought they didn't have Mexican food in Denver. You ordered everything on the menu. How you like that? Antonio, after all that mess you just talked to the waiter, all he understood was chips and salsa. Traditional uh, start to a good Mexican meal. Thanks. 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 Right. Gracias. All right, guys, we're going to take a look at some of the traditional outfits and garbs you might want to sport while in the Yo. Come on. <laughs> I think this would look good on Steve right here. I mean, bits and just spread off. That's funny because uh, Antonio best. just bought this the other day. <laughs> Cowboy hats for you. Take the black. Oh, Come on, you want to square dance, Steve? Well, let's make stop. Come out here to dance. All right, everyone, that's the end of the tour. Dice, what'd you think? It was cool. I enjoyed it. Okay, good. Well, that's Phoenix for you, everyone. Hopefully, we'll see y'all next time. Peace. Coming up, Mitch Richmond and Tim Hardaway, two old teammates, are back together again. This time in our jam of the week. Oh, yes, he does. And you'll meet a young star, Sharif Abdul-Rahim. Here comes Sharif. Bounce pass through the legs of Shaw. In our Jam of the Week, we'll relive some great moments from the NBA Slam Dunk Contest. Here's Jodeci with Get On Up. Are the judges ready? Are the players ready? Folks, are you ready?
Stay tuned. NBA Jam will continue right after this. There's the future. Abdur Rahim. Oh, what a play by this guy, Abdur Rahim. Here's one of the up and coming superstars of the game, folks. Look at the moves he's got. He puts it up and he puts it in. Sharif Abdur Rahim, he is coming of age. <laughs> Today, we take a look back at one of the NBA's greatest guards who led the Detroit Pistons to two NBA titles. Here's Isaiah Thomas in Retro NBA. to watch uh, Isaiah Thomas, his ball handling skills. He was a um, point guard, but uh, he could do a lot of other things besides just pass the ball. He could score. To Isaiah, fakes him right down the lane, switched it left to right, scooped right in, scored. Um, he just did everything. Isaiah breaks up the lane, falls, but keeps the dribble twice. Now comes back toward the lane, to the hoop, up in, off the glass, and he's fouled. Into the circle. Oh, baby, what a play! When I first came into the league, um, little guys were being phased out of the NBA. And when I came in, uh, basically the only thing that they thought that I should do was bring the ball up the court, pass it, and go run, stand in the corner. You got criticized because you could shoot the ball. Oh, my! Whoa! <laughs> Isaiah with a top side. You got criticized because you can get into the lane and create plays because they were used to seeing, at that time, the big guys, you know, post up or, you know, do things that little guys hadn't done in a while. When you can take what it is that you're doing out on the court and make a guy in the 15th row feel what you're doing that's when you got something special back come the pistons the other way isaiah down the lane a 360 and he scores she wanted to be the guy with the ball to win or lose in almost every single game at the end of the game we got shooting to the final second if i make it we win if i miss it we're going in overtime here's isaiah let's see what we got all the way up. Go! He hated the lose. He had an incredible drive. And if he'd have been five inches taller, he might have been the greatest player that ever played the game. Got in line, fade away, rolls off. Isaiah with a putback, and he hit it! Nothing like being in beside those four lines and doing your thing. Words haven't been invented yet that can describe that feeling that I had being in the court. It's better than, than, than anything you can ever want to experience. That's it for this week's show, and a reminder that voting for the NBA All-Star Game is now underway. You can cast your ballot by logging on to NBA.com. We'll see you next week right here on NBA Jam.